So in this video, we're going to talk about uh, what exactly is NVC expedite request, when can you write it, and who should write it, how to create a strong impact while writing a letter, and where should you send the letter, what are the acceptable reasons for expedite. We are also going to discuss and see a sample letter for reference um, and then we're going to talk about the timeline which you should expect after you have submitted an email requesting expedite and uh, how are you supposed to schedule interview afterwards so basically NVC expedite request letter is request you make to NVC to expedite your case while it is at NVC after the approval of uh, petition uh, petition I-130 and you're requesting them to send your case to embassy um, we write to NVC however they forward the letter to uh, embassy and they decide whether to uh, expedite your case or not the most ideal person to write this letter is the petitioner who is sponsoring the applicant it creates a strong impact and uh, a well formatted and well worded letter um, draws attention of the embassy towards your case so we're going to uh, talk about it step by step uh, you should uh, you're supposed to write an email to NVC expedite at state.gov the subject matter should be request to expedite spousal immigrant visa interview and then you're supposed to write your case ID I'm going to read a sample email for you so that you know how to approach and write this request. You, The first paragraph should be of introduction. The petitioner should be writing it ideally for the person who he is sponsoring. In this case, it is the wife. And you should mention your case number. In the second paragraph, you're supposed to give a little background information about your case. Um, when did you start it and how did uh, how much time has it been and everything in a small paragraph you need to summarize that then in the third paragraph you're supposed to mention the response of NVC towards your case the response and if there has been any delays by NVC how are they dealing your case anything um, that Anything that indicates that the delay has been made from their side favors your request. For example, over here, they hung up on the person twice after waiting for 40 minutes. Then in the third paragraph, um, in the fourth paragraph, sorry, you're supposed to write your reason for expedite. And the reason for expedience, it could be financial stress, it could be uh, mental trauma, depression, humanitarian grounds, or it could be death or uh, serious uh, disability among one of your family members and you need to be there. So the top three reasons which N NVC considers um, they are, firstly, uh, the financial stress that you guys have been through significant financial stress. The mental stress is another factor. They consider uh, preg uh, NVC favors pregnant women. So if your spouse is pregnant and you want to be there with the spouse, that's another reason to consider for uh, expedite request. If there has been unusual prolonged amount of delays by NVC and it's been more than one year at NVC that you're waiting, they're going to consider your request. After you have explained the reason for request, it is always very important to provide supporting documents uh, so that NVC can be sure that uh, whatever you are requesting and whatever your reason for requesting is, is in fact uh, a truthful reason. It, uh, it has some sound grounds and it's, you're not lying about it. So it's always important to provide some kind of supporting documents. You can add it. Uh, you can add the documents by adding the attachments like here uh, the PDFs are attached you can add your wife's delivery um, expected delivery date you can add uh, your family members uh, illness certificate or anything some kind of financial uh, proofs that um, that you're 
you or your family is going through severe financial losses after that you just send the email and uh, once you send the email you wait for the response the nvc takes about a week uh, to reply back to you they're going to reply you with the generic email uh, that your case has been forwarded to um, us embassy and they're going to decide whether it it needs to be expedited or not and you have to wait for another week to get a response from them if your expedite request gets accepted you're going to get an email like that after that you need to schedule your interview the embassy is going to call you within a month they're going to confirm your availability and once the date is confirmed on call they're going to send you an official letter in the form of email which you have to get printed and you have to bring that letter to the US embassy on the day of interview along with the other documents so to summarize uh, after you have submitted expedite request they're going to send you an email within a week confirming that they have received your expedite request you'll have to wait another week to know whether or not your request has been accepted and after that you have to wait another month for your interview to get scheduled hence the process takes about at least 2 months from the day you submit the request to the day you get to know when your interview is going to get scheduled if you found this content useful do like share and subscribe and comment down if you have any queries or suggestions